about three and a half years ago, we started uh, coming to Asia with the larger engine product, which is the 4000-2000 series product. Um, we, uh, initially, we came to Asia with the medium size engine, and we built two plants in, near, in Wuxi, near Shanghai. Now, the 4000 series was a, a significant question to us, is where to put it, China or India? In India, we, need, we have been penetrating this market very successfully in the last three years, and we needed to, be, to have a local presence to satisfy the, 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 the market needs. So that was uh, a, an important decision. That doesn't exclude that we eventually, perhaps in the future, consider another location for this type of product. That's just a global player. So we've got our investments in China, as so I've got the investments in China. But we see India as a, quite a key market for electric power, quite a key market for our full thousand series product. And we see it complements our investments in Asia. So India is a, is a good market, strong market, an important market for us. We've got a good supply base, uh, and we believe it's just a important place for us to start developing our full thousand series business. The, the market is, uh, India is, uh, as compared to any other electric power market in Asia, is a self-contained market. Which I mean with that is that India produces gensets that are consumed in country, as compared to China that actually exports 60% of the gensets that they produce. Only 40% stay in territory. So the potential for growth, when you look at, at the infrastructure demand for energy, uh, the, the cager or the compound growth of the electric power segment is uh, in the order of 15 to 17% compound rate. So we have uh, set up this facility for a 3,000 engine capacity initially, but we already have plans in the design for 5,000. Well, I think from, a, from an electric power perspective, uh, India has got the upper, has got a, a quite a strong future, and we see opportunities for us for, for our engines. Uh, but also, we see India as a, as a base for us for, for export. So India will be our, our Asian hub for manufacturing the foremost. I think I see more opportunities than I do. Um, there is a, an opportunity to develop a new supply base, there's a good supply base capability here, uh, so we see it as an opportunity to, to develop a new supply base for us for our 4000 series, which may, they may become um, providers for our global market, so they may be able to help us support us in the UK as well. Um, we also see opportunities to work in and growing with our customers, we have some very strong relationships here with our customers. Um, so actually I see more opportunities than I, than I do challenges. Um, we've built good relationships with, uh, with Maharashtra, with MIDC and Industrial Development Corporation, so I see those as, uh, as positives as well. start to develop our engineering capability here so we'll be able to do engine validation, component validation, maybe some emissions compliance uh, testing, but, but we also see it as an opportunity for us to grow our engineering capability here as well. Uh, I would say it's a contribution to our partners. He provides them with um, short lead times, lower costs, and and the, the support of our team in territory, which is critical, because the competition that we have are in this country as well. So we need to have that presence over here. So I would say, yes, it's good for the Perkins business, but it's more important for our customers. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it continues to build our global footprint, uh, so it builds our, our presence around the world. 
It allows us to get closer to our customers and support our customers. Uh, it allows us to, to bring on a new supply base, a new supply base capability. Uh, it allows us to bring in a new team. So we're going to develop a new team of uh, great skills and diversity. Um, so I think it's going to, it's going to bring uh, the whole range of benefits to, uh, to our business. Uh, we will have between 450 and 500 people in the facility. Um, about a, maybe a, just over 100 sort of office based staff, and the rest will be uh, on the shop floor building with building engines. Uh, but predominantly, we're going to be recruiting from the, from the local market. Well, it's going to generate direct jobs in the facility in Aranaba, but also investment in the supply base will also generate uh, jobs across the supply base within India as well. Asia is a key market for us, um, and we see a lot of growth uh, right across Asia. So we are uh, we're actually putting capacity capability into the facility. So the footprint itself will allow us to expand. We put the assets in to do 3,000 engines to sort of we have built the footprint to grow to about 5,000 engines. Um, I think just a continuation of what we're doing today. I mean, we've been working in India, we've been in India for a long time, is to continue developing relationships with our customers, is to, do, to continue doing shows like these, to, to, to build our presence, uh, to build our image as we, as we go forward, and just to continue delivering great products to, to our customers in order to meet the, meet the demand. I, I think it's more along the lines of what we're doing, just in terms of you know, the shows, uh, uh, building our image, working with our customers, and then, and then we, also, we also continue to sell our whole range of engines within India. And uh, at some point in time, we will continue to or look at the opportunities of maybe doing things with those engines in India over time. But for the time being, our focus is on the 4,000 skills. Our strategic intent <coughs> is to be the number one or number two in every segment that we participate. So, long term vision is to achieve that strategic intent. And we have to work hard. The competition is difficult, and this is the beginning. We are, we have planned to do more, we have more products, uh, increase our uh, people footprint, our distribution network. Uh, I just think it's a very exciting opportunity. We've got a great team that are really energised, really. Uh, really bought into and really bought into the whole concept of what we're doing in India. Um, we've got a great team, really energized, and uh, we're looking forward to building the first engine next year. This country is a challenge. Uh, we have been growing very fast at Perkins uh, sales in the country. That's again one of the reasons why we established uh, the, the facility in India. And, uh, and we are planning to achieve our strategic intent which is to be number one or number two.